Hi, are you tired of missing out on potential passive income opportunities? In this video, I'll show you how to research which search term people are looking for, create a persona for that buyer, create and edit your own design, and lastly, upload them to a print-on-demand platform. With the right approach, you can take advantage of this and start earning passive income. Many people have great ideas for products, but don't have resources or knowledge to bring them to market. Now that we have AI to help us out, don't you think it's now possible? You can do it on your own without much experience, but still have great results. And doesn't cost you hundreds or thousands of dollars just to create and design and sell it. A few more things. Print on demand solves your inventory or production problem by allowing you to create and sell products without the need for a large investment. This means you can tap into a potential market for passive income without the risk of losing money. I know, I know, you'd be saying, nah, it's a saturated market. I beg to differ. The print-on-demand market is not saturated. According to market research, the print-on-demand industry is projected to reach $30 billion by 2025. Yes, it's becoming increasingly competitive, yes. To be successful in a competitive market, it's important to differentiate yourself by offering unique, imaginative products or personalized products, building a strong brand, and effectively marketing your business. Now that you reach this point, I'll show you where to start. So step one, you need to use a keyword planner. Now just look for or search for ads.google.com and then once you're there, click on get started and then click on new Google account. And then click on switch to expert mode. Don't put anything here. And then create a, uh, an account without a campaign. And then fill out the form and hit on submit. And then click on explore your account. And then on the top portion of the screen, you could see tools and settings. Click on that and this is what we're looking for, keyword planner. And then click on discover new keywords and then type in here t-shirt about and then at the bottom of it you can see the location you're targeting I just removed my country here so select United States Canada and Australia and then hit on save and then get results from here, you can click on monthly searches. So the rule of thumb is the more searches there are, the more customers there'll be. So the highest search right now is search about Jesus. So, but in this video, I won't choose that. <laughs> okay. So for this video, I will choose uh, fashion. And from that, topic or for that keyword we're going to create a persona so that would be for step two probably some of you may not know what a persona is personas are fictional characters that represent a specific type of user it helps you create products and marketing campaigns that are tailored to that target audience they serve as a common point of reference throughout the design and development process it also helps you to stay focused on the needs of the user rather than getting bogged down in your assumptions or biases because if you follow this, this leads to more successful product design and higher customer satisfaction and engagement. The things we need to create the personas are age, gender, occupation, income, educational levels, family status, geographic location, personality traits, hobbies and interests, goals and pain points, values and beliefs, media consumption habits, buying behavior. We can't do all the market research in this video because it involves a lot of things. So I went ahead and created our fictional character, which is on our screen right now. Now that we have our data for our persona, we just need to go to ChatGPT to create it. If you haven't used ChatGPT yet, 
please click on the link in this part of the video. Step 3. Copy and paste your data to ChatGPT and then type in create a persona for this buyer. And let's just wait for Ch ChatGPT. Okay, now that we have our persona, you just need to type in create a saying, create a list, sorry, create a list, uh, list of sayings for this persona. All right. Now that we have our list, you can just choose which one. Step four, copy the sayings and paste it in Midjourney. If you haven't used Midjourney yet, uh, click on the link that appears on this part of this video. All right, copying the first one. Type in forward slash imagine, then type in t-shirt designs and then comma and then paste the uh, saying and then hit on enter and then let's do two more or slash again imagine then t-shirt designs and comma then paste the other saying and last One that would be this one. Imagine type in t-shirt designs. Okay, now that we have our image, it looks like some are good, some are not. If you're not satisfied with the outlook of the design, you can add something for that image, like cartoon style or uh, illustration style or graphic style you just have to put it forward slash imagine then cartoon style then paste your uh, say now if in any case that you're not happy with everything the image and the say you just can go to chat GPT and then type in there more please it will provide you a new list Step 5. Now that we have our image, we need to ask ourselves, do I need to edit this or just leave it as it is? But looking at the image that I have right now, I need to remove the, the sayings here and some of the background. Alright, let's go to Photoshop. Okay, I already pulled up my Photoshop here and also opened the file. This is the the outcome but I haven't rendered it yet but this is the the raw file so in order for me to get that outcome to remove the background and also for the words I use first the quick selection tool now I just select the the image I didn't use the what you call this the auto one, I forgot where that is. Uh, anyway, there we go. Subject. Okay, so I didn't select this because it didn't copy the, the other ones, but I can remedy that. So, anyway, so this is what I just did the whole time. So it took me around a few. Help me a few minutes. So, but I don't want to take much of your time. So, technically, that's what I did. And then I used the healing brush to remove this, the words. And then for us to remove the background, we need to put click on the icon for the mask. And there we go. So this is not the clean one, so this is the cleanest one better, right? 
So now we do render this one. Okay, now that I already pulled up my tool, Gigapixel AI, you can actually use some other tools for rendering. You can actually do use um, Photoshop. So I'll just put a link down below in the description below that other alternatives or free alternatives that you can use for uh, rendering. So, but for now, we'll use this. And this is our image. So I'm going to render this to times four scale and then suppress the noise by a hundred and then save the image. So it's already done. And let's check the file and see where it is. Okay, there we go. This is the file. So we just rename this to updated version. And now for step six. All right, step six. Now that we are in Redbubble, you just have to sign up in Redbubble. It's just simple. You just go sign up with your email and then follow the steps. So this is my account. That will be uh, anal. You can search me if you want. Now I'll show you my shop. This is my shop. And this is the images I was able to make. Um, all right. So in order for us to add that image, uh, you just need to click on add new work and then upload new work and upload version, uploaded version. And then to add the title, we just need to use, uh, this one, life is too short. And then tags would be for the SEO. So boring shirt, boring, probably no, uh, outgoing, that would be outgoing extrovert. All the, the things that your persona is. And then for the description, can be any kind of description. So let's say life is too short where the, uh, to wear boring clothes. Now this is the product preview before you finalize it. Uh, pardon me if you can hear the, <laughs> the thunder at the background. So I'll change it to black and uh, try to resize this. All right, there we go. Apply for changes. And you can do that for every image um, that you would choose. All right, so technically you just, you get my point here. So you just go through this one by one and then change it and select the item that you want to, to be sold. And then you just click on design and then digital art and then is this immature? I do have one that would be for uh, alcohol. So technically it's a uh, mature content. So you, you need to select yes for that. But if there's not, then you just click on no and then have the rights and save your work. All right, we're done. So now that you know how to create the, an image and good luck on creating your own first print-on-demand account. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.